Despite the challenges of identifying early humans, there are several candidates for the earliest known members of our species and one of them is Homo sapiens idaltu, otherwise known as the Herto man or the firstborn. As we know and have discussed, many of the fossils thought to be early members of our species possess a mix of modern and primitive traits. For some paleoanthropologists, it means our species once had a greater range of physical variation than we do today. For others, it means more than one species of Homo may have lived in Africa having some traits in common. Cro-Magnon was once considered a candidate but this species was too young to be a real contender for the oldest member of our species. As for the Hurtomando, the skulls appeared to be quite modern. This subspecies of the Homo sapiens lived approximately 160,000 years ago in Pleistocene Africa and was said to have developed from Homo rodensiensis and had heavier brow ridges. The name Hurtoman is because they were discovered at Hurtoburi near the middle Awash site of Ethiopia's Afar Triangle. In 1997, Tim White of the University of California at Berkeley and colleagues unearthed three largely complete skulls, two adults and one child, which were first unveiled in 2003. The fossil rich site was discovered on November 16, 1997 in a dry and dusty valley bordering the middle Awash River near Hato, a seasonally occupied village. White first spotted stone tools and the fossil skull of a butchered hippo emerging from the ground. When the team returned to intensively survey the area 11 days later, they discovered the most complete of the adult skulls protruding from the ancient sediment and later on the child skull was found nearby. Skulls of the two adults showed cut marks pointing to ancient mortuary practice. These skulls dug up near this village called Herto filled a major gap in the human fossil record, an era at the dawn of modern humans when the facial features and brain cases we recognize today as human first appeared. Now, although the skulls seemed modern, certain cranial traits are outside the range of modern human variation and for this reason, the researchers placed the Herto fossils in their own subspecies calling them Homo sapiens idaltu, idaltu meaning elder in the Afar language of Ethiopia. The most complete of the three new fossil skulls was probably that of the male. It is slightly larger than the extreme seen in modern Homo sapiens, yet it bears other characteristics within the range of modern humans, in particular less prominent brow ridges than pre-Homo sapiens and a higher cranial vault. The man, though probably in his late 20s to mid-30s, had heavily worn upper teeth and a brain size slightly larger than average for living people. Exact numbers are not known, but scientists say an average male may stand 1.8 meters tall and the average height of females is 1.6 meters. The early humans at Herto lived along the shores of a shallow lake created when the Awash River temporarily dammed about 260,000 years ago. The lake contained abundant hippos, crocodiles and catfish, while buffalo roamed the land. The team also recovered more than 640 stone artifacts, though they estimate that the entire Herto area contains millions of such artifacts such as hand axes, flake tools, cores, flakes and rare blades. Tim White said, We've lacked intermediate fossils between pre-humans and modern humans, which is between 100,000 and 300,000 years ago and that's where the Herto fossils fit. The discovery of Homo sapiens idaltu was so big that they even said it was a truly revolutionary scientific discovery. Scientists also said that these anatomically modern humans predate most Neanderthals and therefore could not have been descended from them, which is again a debatable factor. 
Okay, so before I end this video, let me remind you that there are two different theories of how modern humans came into existence. One is that we emerged in Africa, East Africa to be specific, and the other is that modern humans arose in many areas of Europe, Asia, and Africa from other hominins who had migrated out of Africa at a much earlier time. Because the Hurto fossils represent a transition between more primitive hominins from Africa and modern humans, they provide strong support for the hypothesis that modern humans evolved in Africa and subsequently spread into Eurasia. Their age and anatomy are cited as strong evidence for the emergence of modern humans from Africa and against the multi-regional theory which argues that modern humans evolved in many places around the world. Despite all that has been said though, Tim White says that this is clear fossil evidence that our species arose through evolution. Tell me what you think of this guys in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching. For more related videos, do check our channel out as we have made tons just for you. And do not forget to support us by liking our videos and subscribing to the channel. Till then, this is Halabella and see you soon in our next video.